This is a tutorial about connecting Unity with VDMX. Um, I should probably apologize for the fact that I'm using the internal microphone. Clickety clacks are going to sound kind of terrible, I'm sure. Um, and what else? Oh, the fact that I'm screen recording uh, might kind of make the uh, video look like it's choppy. But that's not siphon. That's just the fact that the computer is screen recording and doing all this insane cross-app video stuff. Anyway, so let's get down to brass tacks here. You want to use Unity and you want it to be in VDMX. You need to download a plugin, a siphon plugin for Unity 3D, right? Then you'll see that you get this folder. It's got a really good README file. Um, when you're doing this in your own project, just kind of copy everything in this assets folder. Just dump it into your project because the hierarchy is correct. And if you're trying to do stuff and you notice that it's not working, chances are it's because like maybe you don't have a folder that's called plugins with everything in the exact order. Maybe you do, I don't know. Um, so let's set up a couple things, right? When you open this scene, this example scene, siphon server and client, right? Um, it looks like this, okay? Um, but we're going to start from scratch within this folder. So everything's already set up in the project, um, but we're going to start a new scene and we're just going to do it from scratch. Same with VDMX. We're going to have a blank document, right? So let's set up a couple things here to get started. We want our siphon output found in plugins. You'll see that you have all of your siphon servers that it sees. So every time I add a layer, it's going to update, right? If I change the name of a layer, you know, something like boobies, then boobies shows up. Okay, we'll click it. Now, that means that anything on this layer is going to be going out on a siphon server, right? So we have this little audio reactive quartz composer thing, and we can test that in siphon recorder. We see that this is the siphon server. All right, it's going through. There's that choppy video I was talking about. Um, okay, so a couple things. Uh, you have a main camera. You always have a camera in a game. Um, you want to drag and drop this siphon script onto your main camera. Boop. Right? So now you already see that the boobies is in here. It sees it. Right? Um, this is really important. You have to click on it, and then it's going to be like, you want to add this? And you say yes. So now, boom, you got a client. So we're going to add a game object, like, uh, is this thing going to be there the whole time? I apologize. Uh, add a game object, like a plane, plain old plane. Let's add some light, too. Um, cool. Right? Uh, bring the camera up, and then look down at this plane. Okay. There's the plane. Um, right, so... The plane. It needs a client texture on it because a client receives an incoming server. All right now, down here, in the little GUI, the name of the app is, of course, VDMX5. If you're ever unsure uh, what, what the, the actual way that you write whatever app it is, it, just put it exactly how it says it there. Um, and then our client name is the server boobies. So, play. Hello, there's our little plane. Cool, we did it. 